Good morning. Well, today, what I thought I'd do is show you in depth what I'm looking for to rebuild the roof and how exactly we're going to achieve it. Now to rebuild the roof, especially to rebuild it the same, basically we've got to take details and measurements from the existing building, piece together bits of photographs, and we've just got hold of the final plans, but I don't know how detailed they are in terms of dimensions. So here's what we've got to work with. I've been collecting as many old photographs as I can that really showcase the roof. And obviously now I've got a good idea of what it looks like. There was, well, let's, for start, let's forget about the turret because that's a while off yet. But there was basically three separate roofs in a way. There was a back roof, which was one floor higher, the all mansard style. And then there was the two wings and they do kind of join in the middle behind the turret. And that bit is the detail I haven't got pictures of, but I'm sure it will make sense as it starts to come together. Now, I can take little details off these. For instance, I know that the hip of the roof or where the roof changes profiles happens at the top of the banisters on the balcony. You know, you can see that from the photos. I've got the lead flashing on all the kind of existing walls. So I can take the degree off of them by dropping a string line down and then measuring the angle. And once I've done that, on two of the sides, I've got the angles of the roof. I've just got to work out where they meet and where that joint kind of happens. Now, all that seems good in theory, but to take these measurements properly, I've had to get up to this level to be safely able to access them all. And that's some of what this rebuilding the floor by floor is. We just can't start the roof until I can get up there. So in terms of what's left, on this side, we can see that they put a wood beam around the very top of the wall, and that's what the roof trusses will have sat on. Now, they've done it by loads of small bits of wood, and they've jointed them with this kind of staggered joint. I think now we can get away with one bit of wood. But what's good is there's still pretty intact bits up there so I can take the dimensions of the timber and that'll give us a good sense of what kind of how heavy the roof structure was. Also on this side there's all the flashing left so I can see how far the roof came out onto the wall and kind of what that joint was like to take the rain away and on the walls and on the walls this bit of flashing that goes up 
which showed where the roof joins to the wall. As I showed you yesterday, we've got this profile, which is really, really clear to take this side of the roof off of. Here we've got nearly the peak of the roof system here, and that'll give us a good idea of what pitch that was as well. And for this kind of joint in the middle, we've got the pitch of the roof at the back here very, very clearly, which is so handy. And we've got flashing up here as well to take that one off of. And the actual pitch right at the very top there. So there's like, there's enough here to piece it all together. It's gonna be just a bit of detective work marking out all these measurements from all the different bits of buildings and then putting it together in a CAD drawing and obviously these have then all got to go to an engineer and he's gonna verify what shape the trusses are, what size they need to be, stuff like that. But I need to get all these measurements because I want it back to how it was. So yeah, we could design a whole new roof with new trusses and a new system, but it's not gonna work exactly the same for the building as it used to. So if I can just take, copy the old roof, then we know that shape works, it works for all the rooms, you know, they all give good height and stuff. So that is the plan. As you can see, there's a bit of work involved in it, but once we get them dimensions right, it's just a case of building it. Just, just knock it up, build it, screw a bit of wood together, get a roof on. Ah, oh, annoyingly, 
like two beams left to finish it, two beams short, which is pretty annoying, but hey, what a thing. You know, it's super bizarre to be on this level. Now every level like I've put in, I get to see out of the windows for the first time and gain that view. And they've all been pretty special, but you know, being up here right at the very top on a floor is just something I can't explain. It seemed, you know, when I first bought the place, you stood right down there looking up and it just seemed impossible to be up there safely, you know? It feels like a big deal, as it always does, but it just feels special. So, that's about it for today. I've run out of beams, so I need to get some more beams. Today's really just been like a pottering day. So I will see you bright and early tomorrow.